It's been said that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And for fast food businesses, it may just turn out to be the most lucrative. Americans spending more money in the morning than ever. And everyone wants a piece of the bacon. Now McDonald's and Taco Bell locked in a bitter battle for your morning meal. Here's ABC's Lindsay Janis. I'm Ronald McDonald. And I love Taco Bell's new breakfast. Yes, you're hearing correctly. I'm Ronald McDonald. I'm Ronald McDonald from Vero Beach, Florida. This is Ronald McDonald endorsing Taco Bell. Delicious new breakfast everyone can love, even Ronald McDonald. Welcome to the Breakfast Wars. Bacon is really, really good. In this corner, the king of breakfast, McDonald's. In that corner, Taco Bell, the little chihuahua nipping at McDonald's heels, opening for the first time for breakfast just two weeks ago. Taco Bell's latest cheeky salvo, this ad, featuring a guy who's been eating Egg McMuffins since 1984. But when I saw Taco Bell... After trying Taco Bell's new breakfast menu, he gets with the times, trimming his mullet and getting a smartphone. Even took down my lover boy poster. Now I'm eating waffle tacos and AM crunch wraps. But why aim directly at the fast food breakfast Goliath? $32 billion, that's why. It's what Americans spend on fast food breakfasts every year, worth having a slice of. McDonald's gets about 20% of its sales from breakfast. It made $10 billion last year from that one meal alone, dwarfing Taco Bell's $7.6 billion in total sales for all meals. So David decided to take on Goliath. Um, in terms of whether they can chip away at McDonald's market share, I think they definitely can, and I think that McDonald's is worried about that. Taco Bell's been working on its morning menu for over seven years, and it's not about to flinch. The big message for us is we're here to stay in breakfast. The chain inviting Nightline to its innovation kitchen in California. Breakfast is serious business. And explaining how it came up with the waffle taco, the AM crunch wrap, and those Cinnabon delights. We worked a lot on a bunch of different products to try to make sure we had the right thing that really is true to what Taco Bell is about, which is innovation. The whole reason we're doing this is we just thought breakfast was really boring, and so we wanted to break up the boring, shake up the routine. They have a new coffee line, too, and have made sure all the breakfast sandwiches can be held in one hand. The AM Crunch Wrap, one-handed. And to go with the new menu, a new ad campaign by Oscar-winning director Errol Morris. The first commercial unleashing these 25 men, named Ronald McDonald, each of them professing their love for its new breakfast items. I'm Ronald McDonald and I love Taco Bell's new breakfast. That commercial generating so much buzz, the Golden Arches rounding up its troops and firing off an immediate response. Barking back on social media with this image of the clown in red and yellow kneeling down to pet the Taco Bell Chihuahua with the words, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And in an attempt at a knockout blow, offering free cups of its McCafe coffee to customers during breakfast hours for two weeks. You made just the way you like it. McDonald's said, back off my territory. We are the breakfast king. And they started this marketing blitz. Then they also put on a concert in Times Square and a flash mob in Chicago to sort of get the buzz growing in major cities over their McCafe coffee line. McDonald's is the undisputed king of the fast food breakfast with sandwiches like the Egg McMuffin and it is going to fiercely defend that position. But it's fretting about the little chihuahua because in the last few years, breakfast has become more important than ever to its bottom line. It's just one of the wholesome ways to start your day at 300 calories or less. Traffic during the breakfast hours has been steadily increasing, while traffic during the lunch and dinner hours has been steadily decreasing year over year. So why breakfast? Because it's the cheapest meal that you can get outside of a snack and consumers are still tight with money after the recession. Everyone's after a piece of that growing pie. Just weeks ago, That's Dunkin' Benedict Donuts Sam. unveiling Dunkin's Egg Benedict, Benedict sandwiches. Sandwich with the flavor of creamy lemony hollandaise. And last month, Starbucks revealing new items like the egg and cheddar sandwich and a new and improved reduced fat turkey bacon breakfast sandwich. The newest entry into the breakfast wars has healthy options too. But really Taco Bell? An AM crunch wrap with more than 700 calories? Mm. 
everybody still does like to go to fast food for their, you know, greasy burgers and um, delicious fries and tacos as well at Taco Bell. So, I mean, there's definitely a huge market for that, you know, I'm going to splurge today, um, once a week kind of stop by and get fast food. A huge market that's got fast food chains duking it out in the breakfast wars. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Janice in New York.